Hey hun, before we start, would you like some tea? Okay. Here you go. So I want to talk to you about being a transracial adoptee and what I mean when I use the term transracial because it is a very complex experience. So if you look at the term, the definition given is across or crossing racial boundaries. So I feel many times when someone hears the term transracial, they think of someone like Jessica Clark or Rachel Dalzell. So in these examples, someone who is born white but is claiming to be black or that they identify as black, and they try to assimilate to that identity physically, historically, and culturally. So I feel that relationship to the term transracial is very different than my relationship to the term. Personally, I feel they are co-opting the term transracial as a way to skew certain lies that they have made formally. I do not mean to deny their feelings of being transracial if that is what they truly feel. I just feel it's important to be transparent within the situation because their actions create a falsehood towards transracialism which can make it harder for other transracials to navigate their relationship to that identity. Actually, follow me. I want to show you a photo. Ah, here it is. So here's a photo of me and my adoptive parents. As you can see, we are an interracial family. So first off, personally, I don't see myself as white. I don't see myself as a different race or ethnicity. I would say I identify as transracial because of my precarious position as someone of color, specifically of Asian descent, raised by white parents. So as a transracial adoptee, there is a duality to my racial and overall understanding. I think one thing that I talk about a lot is feeling too Chinese to be American while too American to be Chinese. It's a weird position of feeling like I don't have the right to claim either, while at the same time, I'm able to have my hands in both pots. I feel as someone who was adopted at such a young age, being raised by white Americans, I have assimilated quite a bit to American culture. My adopted parents' language, culture, values, beliefs, morals, and lifestyle became a part of my own growing up. The world they brought me into became my normal. Although as I have aged, I have formed my own opinions, beliefs, and ideologies, I understand that their upbringing has helped shape me. So I'm from an upper middle class family, and I've been told that I'm very white, that I have a waspy personality, that I'm like a Twinkie, yellow on the outside while white on the inside. But at the same time, I'm not white. I still experience racism as an Asian, especially when I'm alone. I've actually been working on some embroideries that have slurs against Asians on it. It's part of my series, What Color Am I? Would you like to see? Come on! Ba -da -da -da. See? So anyways, I would say as a transracial adoptee, there's a lot of ambiguity in how I'm labeled. I remember this professor was introducing me to a Chinese artist, and she was like, Sarah's a Chinese artist too! And well, I kind of panicked, I didn't know what to do, and I was like, yeah! But seconds after I said that, yeah! I felt like I was lying, because although technically it isn't false, I was born in China, I felt like I was different than that Chinese artist. I felt like they were a real Chinese while I was this fake imposter Chinese. Sometimes I would hang out with students who were from Asia and who were Asian American, and at times I didn't know what we were talking about. So everyone else could talk about and relate to subjects dealing with being Asian Asian American that I personally couldn't relate to with my background. So I would just kind of smile, nod, and be awkward. Growing up, I feel I felt the same sense of imposterism within the Asian American community, where many people's parents were Asian and their families weren't interracial like my own. They grew up within a lifestyle or community that people associated with being Asian American. And to be honest, I felt so foreign and like I didn't belong there. In college, I joined this Asian Asian American Pacific Islander group. In reality, I only followed them over Facebook. I never went to a single meeting or event. A piece of me was kind of scared. I feel like a piece of me felt like I didn't belong, like I couldn't claim that. And maybe if I did go, my presence would destroy the safe space. Of course, I do realize now a lot of that was in my head and I wish I had formed the courage and talked myself into going. Sometimes I want to connect more to my Chinese roots but it has been done on a very superficial level. Where it's like, I eat Chinese food. Granted, a lot of it has been very Americanized Chinese food or like, I wear my Chinese dress on Chinese New Year. I like panda bears. My favorite color is red. It's a lucky color in China. 
all those things don't make me more Chinese. This may sound silly, but sometimes I wonder if I'm appropriating Chinese culture, if I am being fake by trying to consume and portray aspects of Chinese culture. Growing up, I went back to China and to be honest, I didn't feel Chinese. I was still seen as a foreigner. Even though I wasn't aware of it then, I think I wanted to be accepted. As a transracial, I feel there is a slight disconnect from your racial ethnicity, maybe an eternal isolation, a feeling of being different than the demographic that looks like you. As an international transracial adoptee, I would say I'm crossing racial boundaries because I am a person of color who has mannerisms and experiences that people associate with being white. Sometimes I have more things in common with my white peers. But at the same time, the world will never see me as white. I am proud of my Chinese origins. China has a rich, beautiful history and culture that I want to know more about. Although I'm not as connected to my Chinese identity, it's still a part of my identity. I still have experiences and am judged for being Asian. We've been standing a while. Do you want to have a seat? Come on, let's go back to my desk area. So as a transracial adoptee, I struggle with a feeling of isolation from both American and Chinese culture, while at the same time, I get to explore both cultures. It's a complex understanding because I have a relationship with both identities. In a way, I'm the best inside-outsider. Of course, others may have a different relationship with transracialism, but I do hope that this helped you understand transracialism a bit more. I know I'm still learning how to label myself. Currently, I would say I'm a transracial, transnational, Chinese-American adoptee. But, you know, figuring out your identity can be difficult. But, best of luck, you got this, I believe in you, and with that, goodbye my sweetie!